I hired Ashley in 2010 to watch my son Blake, who was about three months old. Sometimes her stories were a bit creative, but she was young and I just figured she maybe was embellishing her stories. Ashley came to me and told me that she was pregnant. She would show me ultrasounds. She would call the doctor sometimes for my house. One day, I was looking out the window. Ashley had left my house, and from a distance, it looked as if she had pulled something that looked like a pillow out from underneath her shirt. She was, in fact, faking the pregnancy. I became suspicious of Ashley. I searched the internet, and I came across a Facebook profile of a girl named Cheyenne Lane, which happened to be my son, dressed in girls' clothes. I fired Ashley immediately. I was completely dumbfounded that she was doing this. It was just a complete betrayal of trust. Okay, now you worked as a nanny, right? Yeah. And yeah. you used the child you cared for to pretend that he was your own. Yes. Did you dress him up and post pictures of him claiming him as your own? Yes. Why? I don't fully know. I think I just wanted the attention. I wanted to feel like I had a purpose. But there were people that knew you didn't have a child. When I would post those photos, I would change the settings on who could see the posts. So you were really sophisticated about this. It was basically like an album. Like, and I, there, right. yeah. Ashley had a whole other life she had created in the previous year, pretending that my son Blake was her son. I met Ashley at the Jamboree play class in June of 2011. Ashley had never said anything about being Blake's caregiver. The more we talked, the more we bonded. In February of 2012, that's when everything unfolded. She had called me up one afternoon and told me that her son Blake had died in a head-on collision with a drunk driver. I discovered a post on the internet stating that my son had died in an accident. Once I fired her, she had to kill him off because how was she gonna explain she didn't have that child anymore? At one point you said that your son, Blake, had been killed in a car crash by a drunk driver, and you also lost a baby you were carrying at the same time. I had been fired, and I had to figure out a way why I wouldn't be able to continue to provide photos, and he wasn't going to be around anymore for me to do things with. So you're fired, but you don't stop. I should have. Because now, 2014, you allegedly steal photos of a blogger and you're posting photos of her children on Facebook as your own. I met Ashley in 2012. At the time, I was a wedding planner. Ashley and I knew each other on a professional level. In September of 2014, I received a direct message on Facebook, a woman warning me that someone was portraying my children on social media. I believe that Ashley was taking my children's photos and posting them as her own children. I felt that they had been digitally kidnapped. I don't know who did that to her, and I think that's awful that, that she went through that, but that was absolutely not me. You tell her that you have a daughter named Addison? Yes, I did lie to her about having kids, but I never used her kids. And you eventually created identities for all your fake children. There was Blake and Cheyenne and... Um, Shaylin. Shaylin, Jaden, Zoe. I don't remember Jaden. There was a Zoe. Hudson. Hudson. Braley. Why so elaborate? I mean, if it's just for attention, you have a baby. I think I wanted it to be real. Anyone that knows me knows that being a mom is what I want the most. You've had a total of seven fake pregnancies, one fake husband, Shane Goodman, and then eight fake children. Yes. What's your explanation to yourself about why you go this route instead of some other. I don't understand why I do it. I know I hurt people, and that's not my intention. But you get caught, and you just do it again. I mean, it was like 08, 2010, 2011, 2012, it's, 2014. It's kind of like an addiction. Now, some of those women are here. Okay. What do you have to say to these women that feel violated by you? 